Uh, I find a lot of young young people in general sort of look up to older guys that are probably eight to ten years older than them. So I recommend any young guy, especially at AFL club or in general, just finding that guy. It could be a cousin, could be an uncle, and just um, using them as a sounding board and just and picking their brains as much as possible. A lot of people have uh, had to learn the hard way with their life experiences and uh, reaching their goals, which might take a while for some. So just uh, finding those people, and they might be close to what you think when it might be a relative. So um, but feel free to ask as many questions because there's that many people out there want to help you. Um, probably boredom. I find a lot of 16 or teenagers in general uh, aren't playing a sport as much as possible, uh, to, haven't got hobbies, and they seem to be um, either locked up inside or just watching TV and, or PlayStations in general. So um, I think that it goes a long way, I don't know, for myself and everything around, every pe person around my era that sort of always had hobbies, always had sports, and they continually did it with a group of mates and it sort of kept, kept them occupied and, and um, kept them away from doing possible bad things. So. I was probably, uh, no, this, no, I'm still very structured. <laughs> um, and I suppose it's uh, getting that work-life balance and uh, time efficiency is always uh, the biggest thing. Um, ha you obviously have young families as well, so you obviously got to get the, the right mix of work and family because work can become number one priority at times and uh, we don't need, don't need that or don't want that. I think you've got to have the right work-life balance. And, um, it's a lot of trial and error and just uh, obviously communicating to your close ones because you might think you're doing everything right and you might have the balance right but you've got to really communicate with the close ones to find out and just make sure you are. Our career is an academy coach at Geelong Footy Club um, which has got a lot to do with what we've spoken about today, helping young guys that get first drafted, they've reached their dream and got drafted but then the hard work starts so just continually remind them that they've got to keep chipping away and it doesn't just um, revolve around getting a kick, it, it's their life balance as well and making sure they're happy at home and happy off the field and setting, setting things up outside of football with careers, whether it's going to university or doing work experience at a cafe, it doesn't really matter. But um, that's uh, work-wise and then family, I've got two young kids, a four-year-old and a two-year-old and obviously a wife as well, so um, it's keeping me busy and enjoying life.